Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Well, we have an interesting take today on some science coming out of the University of Alberta up in Canada. Their focus is something called the Lynn kinase gene and its relationship to type 1 diabetes. They think that they have uh, stumbled on to something that potentially could be put into a pill form and hopefully cure type 1 diabetes. We have the whole story for you. I think you're going to like this one. Please hit the like and subscribe button. That helps us to meet and greet new diabetics around the globe. Okay, let's get down into this. It's called the Lynn Kinase G. The University of Alberta reports progress on their type 1 diabetic research for a potential cure. Researchers at the University of Alberta are developing a groundbreaking pill to treat or potentially cure diabetes. This innovative approach focuses on targeting the Lynn kinase gene, critical in insulin production and blood glucose regulation. Preliminary studies have shown promise, with the research now advancing toward clinical trials. This work represents a significant milestone in diabetes research, driven by the Alberta Diabetes Institute and supported by initiatives like the Defeating Diabetes Campaign, which provides critical funding and resources. The University of Alberta has a long history of leading advancements in diabetes treatment, and this project reflects their commitment to transformative solutions for managing and curing the disease. The University of Alberta is developing a pill for diabetes based on research targeting the Lynn kinase gene. This gene influences pancreatic beta cells' ability to produce insulin effectively, a critical factor in maintaining blood sugar levels. The research, led by Dr. Patrick Buteau, has shown that modifying Lynn kinase activity could restore insulin production and glucose regulation. The approach has been tested in preclinical settings with promising results, paving the way for upcoming human clinical trials. This initiative is part of the broader Defeating Diabetes campaign, a $10 million effort to advance diabetes research, improve treatments, and ultimately find a cure. This funding supports various projects, including Dr. Bito's work and other transformative studies, such as using stem cells to produce insulin or improving islet transplants. If successful, this pill could revolutionize how diabetes, particularly type 1 diabetes, is managed, offering a non-invasive alternative to insulin therapy and addressing the disease's root causes rather than just its symptoms. The University of Alberta is progressing toward clinical trials for a potential pill to treat or cure diabetes, spearheaded by Dr. Jean Buteau and his team. This innovative research targets a gene in beta cells, insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, to protect existing cells and regenerate those destroyed by the immune system. The ultimate goal is for diabetes patients to naturally produce insulin again. The initial human testing a 12-person Phase 1A clinical trial is projected to start within the next six to eight months. This proof-of-concept study will lay the groundwork for more extensive trials, marking a significant milestone in diabetes treatment innovation. Lin kinase is a type of protein tyrosine kinase, an enzyme that adds phosphate groups to specific proteins. It belongs to the CIRC family of kinases and is involved in regulating various cellular processes, including growth, differentiation, metabolism, and immune responses. In the context of diabetes research, Lin kinase plays a role in pancreatic beta cell function, which is critical for insulin production. Beta cells are responsible for maintaining blood glucose levels by releasing insulin in response to sugar levels in the bloodstream. Lin kinase's activity influences the survival and health of these cells, making it a target for therapeutic interventions. By modulating Lin kinase activity, researchers aim to protect beta cells and promote their regeneration, potentially reversing the damage caused by autoimmune attacks and diabetes. 
Restoring Insulin Production and Glucose Regulation. Well, can this be done by modifying the Lin kinase gene? We're going to find out. They are planning to be in the beginning trials in about eight months from now, which would be the fourth quarter roughly of 2025. We will stay on top of this. It sounds very interesting. And it's, uh, you know, another angle toward the objective of finding a cure for type one diabetes. Uh, we wish them the best. And of course, we will keep you updated on their progress. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. We have another great video coming up for you in just a few days here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Remember, in the meantime, the most important thing you can do while we sit around patiently waiting for a cure is to keep those blood sugars under control. That'll do more for you to give you a healthy, happy life than anything else short of a cure. Be well. And we will talk again real soon here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Have a great day.